The sauna is a centuries-old Finnish tradition. 99% of Finns sit in a sauna at least once a week. Most homes, apartment buildings, and even offices have one. Don't live in Finland but want to enjoy the benefits of a home sauna? No sweat. This outdoor sauna is made of premium Canadian red cedar, which is aromatic and resistant to mold. First, they measure the wood with a hydrometer to ensure the humidity level is below 12%. If the wood is too moist, it will shrink after assembly, leaving gaps between the planks. Once they've determined that the wood is stable, they put the planks through a molder. The machine's seven different tool heads smooth the top and bottom surfaces. The machine also carves tongue and groove edges that will tightly lock one plank to the next. The assemblers build the barrel-shaped sauna in sections. For the bottom, they start with a central plank that has a tongue on both sides. The tongues and grooves fit together to render the joints watertight. The assemblers continue adding planks until there are eight on each side of the central one. They construct the sauna's back wall using the same technique. Once they've joined together the required number of planks, they lay down a circular template and secure it with clamps. Then they cut around the template with a router. To further secure the planks to each other, they drill angled holes through adjacent ones and drive in screws. They also screw in three horizontal reinforcement planks. Using a pattern as a guide, they cut out a window with the router. They screw window moldings around the opening. They apply an adhesive back rubber insulation strip along the perimeter. This will prevent heat and water from leaking out between the walls of the sauna. They mount the front and back walls onto the bottom section. They add planks to both sides of the bottom section to gradually build up the curved side walls. The side walls meet at the top on either side of a central plank that's pre-wired with Asana's LED ceiling lights. Workers strap three galvanized steel cables around the sides and pull them to a specific tension. These cables further bind the planks to each other. The structural assembly is now complete. They begin installing the interior components, starting with the thermometer and hydrometer. Next, they mount a pivoting cover over the fresh air vent holes. This allows users to block outside air or allow it in. Then they add an hourglass that counts down 15 minutes, the recommended time to spend in a sauna. Next comes the electric stove. It contains volcanic rocks that absorb and store the heat. You have the option of pouring water onto the hot rocks to create steam. After installing benches and a water-absorbent rubber floor, they hang the door. The glass in both the door and rear window is tinted for privacy. The sauna reaches a temperature of 185 degrees. The barrel shape of the sauna optimizes the circulation of the heat and steam.